In this lesson, we're going to look at um, another application of similar triangles. Uh, so here it says, if I am six feet tall and I measure my shadow to be eight feet long and a nearby building shadow uh, to be 36 feet long, what is the height of the building? So let's kind of draw a picture of the situation here. Uh, so here's, here's me. All right, so I'm about six feet tall here. I'll label that. And at this particular time of day, I'm casting a shadow that's eight feet long. Okay, and then there's this building. Now, of course, this isn't quite to scale here, but we get the idea. So we have this building. Okay, I know it's a real sloppy drawing, but we're just trying to get an idea of the situation. And I want to know how tall it is, right? Um, but I do know that the building casts a 36 foot long shadow. Okay, so again, these are not, uh, these two drawings are not to scale. Um, but what we do see here is that if we connect the top of my head to the tip of my shadow, and we connect the top of the building to the tip of its shadow, we've got two triangles. And the key here is that shadows cast by different objects will form similar triangles, obviously if it's at the same time of day. So what we can do is understand that, you know, I know how tall I am. It's easy to measure the length of my shadow because I just put a tape measure along the ground. It's also easy to, uh, easy to measure the length of the building shadow, right? Just put a tape measure on the ground. The hard part would be uh, measuring up the building. But the great thing is we don't need to because we got two similar triangles. So here we'll call that height x. So we understand that, let's go ahead and compare the height of me to the height of the building should equal the length of my shadow to the length of the building shadow, All right? And uh, doesn't hurt me here to go ahead and reduce this fraction here. Four is common to both the top and bottom, so that's just gonna make life easier. So six over x equals two over nine. Take my cross product. Six times nine is 54 equals two times x. And then I can divide by two on both sides my x is now all by itself, and 54 divided by 2 is 27. So the building is 27 feet tall, and I got that without ever having to actually measure the height of the building. 